Hi everyone, welcome to another video from the Garish Grackle. Today we'll be doing a video on sensation and perception. This is my favorite topic in psychology, or one of my favorites, and I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. First of all, understanding perception is important, as everybody perceives their environment differently. Perception helps to determine needs, as necessity governs and influences perception. Sensation and perception is the process that governs how a person gathers and interprets information about the world around them. There are two phases that act in accordance with each other and enable us to gather and interpret. They are not a separate process, they are part of a coordinated whole that works to give necessary and useful information to our brains. So, our sensory faculties retrieve external stimuli from their surrounding environments and from signals within our bodies. These faculties have specialized cells and transmit messages to the central nervous system. The process of transmitting messages is called action potential. Sensory receptors are specialized neurons that communicate to particular kinds of stimuli. The acknowledgement of sensory information by a sensory receptor is called sensation. The transfiguration or transformation of the sensory stimulus, potency or energy is referred to as transduction. There is a screening process that allows or permits only very necessary information through. Perception is the mental organization of external stimuli into ordered meaning and information. The fundamental aspects which underline the organization of information are form perception, perceptual constancy, depth perception, and perception of movement. Mostly, sensation and perception is an integrated process. So, first of all, perception belongs to a subordinate branch of psychology called psychophysics. And it originally came from a doctor named Gustav Fechner. Psychophysics is relevant to study as it aims or its objective is to measure the different sensory thresholds. Now, um, sensory thresholds are basically how sensitive our senses are to stimuli. There are three aspects to uh, psychophysics. This is absolute threshold, just noticeable difference or difference threshold, and signal detection theory. I'll explore all three in this video. So absolute threshold, refers to the minutest quantity of energy organized by the mind and body in order to register an external stimulus within an ideal environment. The degree of absolute threshold varies from one sense to the next, depending on sensitivity of each sense. That is, the more sensitive the sense, the lower the absolute threshold. It isn't solely the intensity or amount of a stimulus that detects that determines detection. There are also many psychological factors, and these include motivation, expectation, experience, and fatigue. These psychological factors are what is what is better explored through the signal detection theory. Before I talk about signal detection theory, I'm just going to explain different threshold or otherwise known as noticeable difference, just noticeable difference, JND. This is the smallest recognizable difference distinguished between two stimuli. The difference in sensitivity between the senses determines the degree of the amount in the difference threshold. Therefore, the more acute a specific sense, the smaller the difference threshold. 
The difference threshold is measured by a principle established by Ernst Weber, known as the Weber Law. So signal detection theory. This theory is grounded on how the individual perceives stimulus based on both the strength of the stimulus and the willing participation of the individual. Signal detection theory states that decision making and willingness of the individual comprise part of the process of perception. This is a relevant foundation for psychologists who study individual behaviors and the differing reactions to stimuli between individuals. An aspect of signal detection theory is how high or low expectations are. The situations and the time of the day that determine the smallest perceived stimulus or the difference between the two. That's it for today. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please subscribe if you liked. And the next video will be doing vision. Bye guys. Thank you.